Hi guys, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. Happy Vlogmas day 11. This video is going to be a little what's on my iPhone Christmas edition. You guys know I absolutely love decorating basically anything. Rooms, I love decorating my bullet journal, and apparently I love decorating my phone. So I've got my phone all decked out for Christmas. I'm really excited to give you guys a little tour, show you everything that I have on my iPhone, how it's set up, all my widgets, all of that kind of thing, because I will say I think it looks very, very cute, and I'm very, very proud of it. I spent kind of an exorbitant amount of time on this, so... <laughs> I am really really pleased if you guys are new here. Hello and welcome. My name is Charlotte I'm a senior at the University of Michigan and I post a lot of college lifestyle and productivity content here on YouTube So if you're new and all of that sounds up your alley, make sure you go subscribe down below I would love to have you join the family, but without any further ado Let's actually get into what is on my iPhone. Okay, so first things first. We're gonna go over my actual phone I have an iPhone 13 Pro. I got this over the summer, I believe. So this is relatively new. I absolutely love this phone. I had an iPhone XR before, so like the 10. Getting this phone was quite an upgrade. It was so nice. This, the camera quality is so much better. Everything is just like a little bit better with this phone. So I really love this phone. And actually on my phone, I'm gonna go over my case really quick. Last year, I did not have a Christmas case on my phone and it made me so sad. So this year I made sure that we had a little Christmassy case on my phone and I think it looks so cute. So here is my little phone case. I am obsessed with this. I think it's so cute. This case is from Casetify. You guys know I love working with Casetify. I think their cases are so cute and so high quality. As someone who drops their phone literally all the time, I love having a Casetify case on my phone because it makes it so secure, so safe. I never have to worry about anything going wrong or getting damaged. So this case was actually gifted to me by Casetify. I have a couple others that they sent me as well that are also Christmas themed. We also have this super cute and aesthetic case of a little girl decorating her Christmas tree. I think this is so, so cute. I think I wanna put this on when I go home for Christmas maybe, cause it feels Right now, like it's not, it's December, but it's not like super Christmassy yet. So I feel like this one will be going on probably a little bit closer to Christmas because it's so, so cute. And then they also sent me this little reindeer candy cane snowman Santa pattern phone case. I absolutely love this one. Also, I had this one on for a bit at the beginning of the month. This one is just so, so cute. It's, I love them all so much. And then of course we have the actual case that is on my phone. It's this fun little like mushroom tan color. And then my absolute favorite part is this little design down at the bottom. We've got the golden retriever and the Christmas tree riding in the back of the red pickup truck. I just feel like red trucks and Christmas trees are so iconic for Christmas. And y'all know I had a golden retriever. She was my best friend. I love goldens. So when I saw this case on the website, I it was calling my name. So huge shout out. Thank you to Casetify for gifting me these cases. Obviously, I love them very much. If you guys are interested in getting any Casetify cases of your own, I will put a link in the description. I also have a coupon code that I will put on screen. I would highly recommend that you guys check them out because I love my cases so much. But let's actually get on to the content of my actual phone. I'll put a little screen recording over here on this side of the screen so you guys can see what my phone looks like and everything that's on here. But this is my homepage. This is what it looks like when you first open up my phone. I think this is so cute. This is one of my favorite lock screens that I've ever had. So up at the top, we just have the day and date because I am constantly forgetting the day and date. Okay, and then underneath that, we just have the little time. I went with like a serif font for this so it's a little bit fancier just I don't know felt right for Christmas then underneath that I've got two little widgets that are just like really easy to take a quick look at if I don't want to actually like open my phone and check these things so over on the left we have a little calendar this is honestly more for me to get a gauge of like how close we are to the beginning or end of a month and less so to tell me like the actual date and then right over on the other side we have the weather this is a need for me. I'm always checking the weather. I get caught in really weird weather events, so I decided the weather was going to be front and center on my homepage, so I would never get caught in a weird weather event ever again. And then for the background, we just have this super cute picture of a little Christmas tree in like a dining room. All of the pictures on here I found on Pinterest, and you guys will see 
my Christmas aesthetic pictures are very, very important to me. So we just have this little Christmas tree decorated in whites and neutrals, and I think this is so, so fun. I definitely went for like a bright white Christmas theme this year, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. So then if we actually open my phone, this is where we land. This is my little home screen, I guess. I think the one before was the lock screen. This is the home screen. And like I mentioned, we're going very bright, white and green, happy Christmas vibes. So I'm just gonna go through all my pages really quickly. I think I have four pages of apps. Yes, I've got four pages of apps and then one little page like off to the side. So for my little home page, I have this widget up at the top. I use color widgets for all of the widgets on my phone. I just think it's the easiest one to use. I like their options it's free so that's what I use to get all of my widgets but up at the top we just have what I kind of call like my home page we've got the day the date the time and the battery percentage of my phone and then the background is this really cute like stockings on a mantle with these little bells and the greenery I just think it looks so pretty and then underneath that we actually get into my apps and widgets and you guys will see on all of my pages I have all of my apps kind of organized in little quadrants and then they have I've got like widgets and quadrants of apps that alternate spaces. <laughs> so on my first page, all of the apps on here are apps that I use all day, every single day, things that I really want to have like front and center on my phone. So we've got messages, calendar, clock, Gmail, Chrome, photos, settings, and again, weather. And then for the little widgets on this page up at the top kind of right hand corner we have this little tree sapling like watercolor painting. Again, I found all of these on Pinterest. I just searched like Christmas aesthetic or like Christmas iOS 16 and a lot of really cute pictures came up. And then we've also got one down below that just says Merry and Bright in this little like cursive font. So cute. And then at the very bottom, the apps that I have pinned are my phone, Instagram, my camera and Google Maps. These are like the ones that I use literally all of the time. Phone, honestly, not so much. I That one could probably get replaced with like text messages, but I'm not ready to switch up my phone yet. So we're keeping the phone up there. But Instagram, my camera, and my Google Maps, I use all day, every single day. I'm Instagram, obviously. Instagram and the camera, both I use for my job. And then Google Maps, I'm just really directionally challenged. And I wanted that easy access right away, all the time. So then my second page of apps is structured very similarly. All of my pages are structured very similarly. For the widgets, again, we've got just really bright, happy, white and green aesthetic pictures. We've got a fireplace, another tree sapling, and a little like ceramic village. This is like the Christmas aesthetic that I'm trying to curate as I like get older. This is kind of like what I wanna be going for, I think. So I figured starting place would be my phone. But this second page of apps are apps again that I use a lot probably not every single day but definitely enough that I want them to be as close to my homepage as possible up at the top we've got YouTube Netflix Pinterest and my YouTube studio which is like the behind the scenes of my YouTube channel so if we click on this it'll bring me up to my YouTube channel you can see all of my numbers all of my behind the scenes seeing how all my videos are doing and that kind of thing so I like to have that app on my phone so I can look at it like on the go if I don't have my computer with me. I also wanted to mention I custom made all of my app icons. So they're all this kind of like neutral, orange, beigey kind of color. I custom made all of those in Photoshop just so they would all match, but it also fits the aesthetic really, really well. Then the little next quadrant of apps, we've got Spotify, Snapchat, Canvas, and GroupMe. Spotify and Snapchat obviously speak for themselves, but Canvas and GroupMe are for school. Canvas is where I access all of my classes online, like my class homepages, assignments, grades, that kind of thing. And then GroupMe is, I'm pretty sure, very popular, but sometimes people don't know what it is. That's that's basically like a messaging app, but for large groups. So like my whole sorority is in a group chat on GroupMe. Then the last little quadrant on this page is kind of what I call my like working quadrant. This is where I keep all the apps that I use for work when I'm working on my phone or creating content on my phone. So we have CapCut and Adobe Rush. These are two apps that I use to actually like edit like TikToks or Instagram Reels. Then Notion. You guys know that I love my Notion. It is literally my lifesaver. I use Notion every single day of the week. So I also have the mobile app for that as well as I have it on my desktop. And then finally we have LensBuddy. This is an app that I use to take pictures for like my Instagram. The basic idea is that you can set your phone up on a timer, press the button and it'll take pictures of you and you don't need to actually be like near your phone pressing the button. It's like a self timer 
photo taker and I use that to take a lot a lot of my Instagram pictures on the third page we have it's kind of like in declining order of how often I use all of the apps so these are apps that I don't use all the time but still like kind of an okay amount these might get restructured in the new year but mm, likelihood of that is pretty low actually again we've got more widgets of a bright white Christmas these are just so aesthetic I love them so much but for the actual apps up in the top quadrant we've got all of my streaming services Disney Plus Hulu Amazon Prime Video and HBO Max and the last two quadrants on this page are a little bit random but I tried to kind of make them go together sort of a little bit next we have TikTok and Lightroom these I use for work then Goodreads and Audible which are both like reading related Goodreads helps you like keep track of all of the books that you've read during the year and all the books you want to read and Audible is obviously an audiobook streaming service then we've got Grubhub if I ever want to order any food then the Canon Connect app which helps me connect to the actual camera that I'm filming on right now this is how I take thumbnail pictures if I'm taking photos with my actual camera it basically makes my phone into a remote control for my camera, which is really, really cool. Then we've got Solitaire, because I love a good game of Solitaire while I'm waiting for the bus, and my P-Tracker app. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Then my last page of apps, we've again got more aesthetic widgets. You guys, I cannot overstate how obsessed I am with the aesthetic of my phone right now. It looks so good. <laughs> Up in the top quadrant, we have all of my banking and like money related apps. So we've got TD Bank, PNC Bank, PayPal, and Venmo. Then in the middle, we've got some kind of like miscellaneous apps. The next two groupings on this page are just kind of random. <laughs> but for the middle grouping, we've got Simple Bills and Resident Portal. Those are two apps that I use to pay my rent and utilities for my apartment then we've got an app called flora which i love this is an app that's supposed to help you stay off your phone while you're trying to be productive so basically what it does is it plants this little seed and as long as you stay off your phone for the set amount of time that seed will turn into a plant the more seeds you plant the bigger your garden gets but if you go on your phone while the timer is running it kills the plant and that's so sad so i avoid that at all costs this is actually really effective for me when i'm studying and then next to that we've got mahjong this is another game that I like to play, especially when I'm on a plane, which is weird. Like when I fly home for breaks from school, I play Mahjong on the plane. And then my last little quadrant of apps, again, very miscellaneous, don't really have much to do with each other. We've got the Starbucks app, my little fitness tracker. This is how I track like workouts that I record on my Apple Watch. The Target app, because you guys know how much I love Target. And finally, my notes app. So those are all of my pages of apps. The last thing I wanna go through is this little side page. This is like my quick little like shortcuts page. Up at the top, we've got my school ID, which I've obviously taken out because every time I leave that in, I try to blur it and it's just a pain. So I just deleted it. Next to that, we've got my countdown to Christmas. There's only 15 days left till Christmas, you guys. This is so exciting. Then the second row, we've got my little batteries widget. This is how I keep track of obviously my phone battery, my watch battery, and my AirPod batteries. Right next to that, I've got this little quote that I absolutely love. This is actually from my like original when I first updated my phone to iOS 14, I think like a way, way long time ago. This is the quote that I chose and this one has stuck around ever since. It says, going through things you never thought you'd go through will only take you places you never thought you'd get to, which I just think is really cute. Then finally, we have two widgets at the bottom. The first one is for Flora, which is the app I was showing you a few minutes ago. And then the next one is for Finch, which you guys know I absolutely love Finch. This is another app for productivity that I absolutely love. It's where I keep my to-do lists. It's where I keep my affirmations for the day, my online journals. So here's my Finch Noodle. He's on an adventure right now, learning a bunch of new things. I just love this app. It's one of my favorites of all time. So that is everything that is on my iPhone. In case it hasn't been like abundantly clear throughout this whole video, I absolutely love the aesthetic of my phone. I think it's so cute, so calming for me. Like I just, I love the way it looks. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We've got so, so many fun vlogs coming up very very, very soon but that is it for this one thank you guys so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you tomorrow bye guys